A very good afternoon from here in the centre of Gibraltar. This evening we're going to take a stroll around Gibraltar. A very good morning from here in Gibraltar. A very good morning guys from here in Casemate Square. A very good morning from me here guys in Commonwealth Park and today we're going to do a little nature documentary. We're continuing our series of exploring Gibraltar's unique wildlife and today we're in this park, Commonwealth Park, which is slap bang in the centre of town and today we are looking for one animal and that is the Iberian marsh frog or some people locally know it as the Perez frog. We know they live in this lake behind me it's early in the morning, it's quite quiet, so hopefully we've increased our chances in spotting one. So come join me in what a beautiful day it is today. Now, last night the mercury didn't get lower than 20 degrees, and I can hear a marsh frog just behind me actually. So the mercury didn't get lower than 20 degrees, which makes this that last night was our first tropical night of the year. So, yeah. And the weather's really nice now. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and it's 21 degrees. So come on guys, let's go look for some frogs. It should be fun. It looks like I'm not the only one looking for frogs this morning. There seems to be a scientist and someone else over there or at least someone with an environmental jacket on. So yeah, probably doing a survey of our frogs here. And they are one of the noisiest species of frogs in the world. We can hear as we go around this park now, they're just loud, 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 loud. I'm going to go over to where I think the highest population is. We'll listen into their sound and then we'll try and spot these beautiful, colourful little creatures. So, come on, guys. So, if you squint, you can see a baby terrapin amongst those rocks. And as you look into the water now, you can see the terrapin starting to wake up. But we're not here for the terrapins today. We're here to find frogs. So Commonwealth Park is officially my closest local park and it is a proper city centre park. There are buildings all around it and if you just go over there you're bang on Main Street. So there's no denying that this isn't really a nature reserve or a nature habitat but thinking about that I don't think that's quite true. I reckon if you calculated all the species of animals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, everything that lived in this park, you could get up to a hundred species. And maybe one day when I've got a bit more time on my hands, I will try to do that and see how we get, see what our results are. That would be interesting to see, I think. But come on, let's keep looking for this frog now because we're getting a little bit sidetracked with the other animals here. Come on. Listen to these. we can hear that characteristic bark of the Iberian marsh frogs we know they're in this bush somewhere they're in this pond somewhere so hopefully I'll be able to get some good shots of them but let's just follow the noise now and let's see how close we can get to them come on so we know this is a favorite patch for the frogs in this park the closer you get to where the croaking and the sounds are coming from the quieter they go they absolutely shut up so maybe i'm going to stand back a bit try and get some more noise for their sounds and then yes we'll try and get up close to one come on so we've spotted our first frog guys and the question is can you see it let me zoom in and this is the iberian marsh frog here now these frogs were reintroduced to gibraltar so they like fresh water and in the past we didn't have too many bodies of fresh water so these frogs didn't really exist here or maybe they existed here thousands of years ago before humans settled on the rock so now they've been brought back in a rewilding project and they are thriving it really is a case of the more you look the more you find and you just got to stare in a certain place for a certain a certain period of time and you do start to see the eyes pop up and yeah there's some lovely little frogs here but let's see if we can find some more colorful specimens come on so the iberian marsh frog should not be confused with the iberian frog and the iberian frog is a very very rare frog that is found in the north of spain it's actually red if you want to look at some pictures on it you can find some research online 
But the Iberian marsh frog, as we're calling it in English, is actually more locally known as the Perez frog. We've got a good shot as finally one is facing our direction. So, what I'm noticing about the frogs at this time of year is they're actually significantly smaller than they normally are by the end of the summer. Now, at the end of the summer, they really are quite fat and their colours, the green, black, blue, you can see all the different colours on them. But at this time of year, they seem to be a slightly duller colour and they seem to be significantly smaller. But let's see if we can find any of the fatties. Come on, we're not giving up just yet. So we can see one here very well hidden and they use their camouflage to their advantage. A lovely one sitting on the rock. Now, they're not so colourful as I said in that previous piece to camera and if you want to see the colourful ones, I actually rediscovered some shorts that I posted last year from this exact same place and you can see the Iberian marsh frog in its full beauty. But they're pretty relatively tame they don't quickly scatter as soon as you get so close to them and you can see a wildlife photographer here taking a few photos and trying to find the frogs just the same as i was so if you're watching this video shout out to you mate it was nice to meet you but look at this beauty this has to be the shot of the day this is going to be the thumbnail look at this guy absolutely fantastic definitely worth getting out early in the morning for and just being at one with nature this is a beautiful thing about Gibraltar we are surrounded in nature so if you're here go out and be in it so the frogs are causing a bit of a stir today there's even photographers down here taking pictures of them this afternoon and we all agree we're all looking for the more colorful variety of the Iberian marsh frog but we're not going to give up guys we've still got our eyes peeled for it come on so let's wrap this video up with our last marsh frog and some baby blackbirds here just bobbing along the bush. I thought it was very nice to see so I captured that as well. So guys that's it from me here in Commonwealth Park and I hope you enjoyed that video of us trying to find the Iberian marsh frog. And we were successful, okay we didn't see the colourful ones that I wanted to catch on camera. We still got to see some pretty cool specimens we got to see some other wildlife hanging around the park but from me here in commonwealth park thank you for watching it looks like the great frog hunt is continuing behind me as other people are also searching for these frogs but thank you for watching as always and i'll see you all on the next adventure